We're about to meet a man who would like to retire, but he worries that he shouldn't because no one would take his job, and his job matters that much to him. Perhaps you recognize Leon Kelly, the anti-gang community advocate from Denver. For 36 years, Kelly has been working with young people, trying to redirect their lives and hopefully save them from gang violence. He started Open Door Youth Gang Alternatives. He has worked with political leaders and, and journalists. You see Paula there. He's worked with law enforcement. In particular, he focused on keeping gang-related funerals from turning violent, from continuing the cycle of killing in Denver. Our Sonia Gutierrez sat down with Leon Kelly. He's looking to pass the torch to someone, but he's having trouble even coming up with a job description. You know, I, I mean, it's, it's like this here. You know, there's a, a thousand names on these pages of young people, of people who are no longer here anymore, who died in the metro areas of Denver. And I'm probably pretty much the only one that keeps a log you know, of all these folks who have died. And sometimes I say, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I've buried more kids, I've buried more people, I've, I've uh, dealt with so much grief and tragedy and drama, and it is not for everybody. It is not a regular job. Hey, the majority of my time spent on diffusing and going all over the city. I, I felt like I was a one that was going around putting my fingers in a dike, you know, of, of the dam. You know, the dam kept you know, expanding and I'm trying to run it out of fingers because I'm all over the place. Many people didn't know what I had to go through, the sacrifices I had to go through to deal with all of this. The times I didn't know where my house payment was coming from, I had to go to the food bank, you know, to support my family. I had to do things like that, come out of my pocket. Many of these guys, you know, are not equipped to do that. They're not willing to make that kind of sacrifice, you know. Uh, so can I blame them? No, and I often say that if it's not your calling, you will not be successful at it. People to understand the commitment that have been put into this work for 36 years. It takes a lot, it took a lot, it took a lot of sacrifices and all. Coming to the end of uh, the twilight of this career, you know, I should not have to, in my mind, be wondering how I'm going to go out so to speak. What am I going to leave in my place? Who's going to be in a position to be skilled and to take this baton, you know, and go forth? 